another trick with Miro, which is about being a lot more sort of free flowing, so not as structured as the um, the post mortem tool, but using this time a mind map. So I've got one here that I've started working on. And mind maps are really useful because they allow anybody to, to write anything anywhere. And what I've done with this one is I've started to to populate it with my own kind of my own notes, my own structure. Um, so we're using the technique called why what's stopping us um, and in, what we're doing is on, on the left hand side of the board we write all the reasons why this matters um, and on the right hand side of the board we, we write down all the things that are stopping us from doing what we want to do and in the center of the board you write your um, you write your main challenge that you're trying to address you're trying to get some clarity on this challenge so again in this case I've written uh, how might we breathe new life into Zoom creative sessions? And I'm going to lock that as in the center because that, okay. So I've written some instructions using just a text box here. We're going to work the left side of the board first. Okay. Um, we're going to work the right side of the board. The great thing about Miro is that people can be zooming in on whatever they want to. So you can guide them and say, look, zoom in on that text in the middle and you can go through it with them or they can have read it already. So that's why it's so flexible. Um, and then you can give them a kind of walkthrough of, okay, so to create a new, uh, and I've locked that, that's why that's interesting. So to create, I need to unlock it if I'm going to create a new arm. There we go. So to create a new uh, idea, then I can hit the plus buttons on these ones and say, so this is my new idea. Okay. Oh, and I hit return, it gives me another new idea. And if I click outside, I don't get, okay. Um, and then you can move these around. That's why mind maps are so nice. You can say, actually, I want to come off. Um, I want to come off. Okay, so you can play around with it, and people can be working simultaneously on lots of different kind of branches, lots of different avenues, which is why it's so so nice. Um, and as a facilitator, you kind of give them the the stages. So we're going to work the left side of the board. Stage one. We're going to do this for ten minutes. Now we're going to work the right hand side of the board and say, well, what's stopping us from achieving this? Um, OK, what's interesting about this is so again, you, you kind of create you create uh, as many um, ideas sort of lines as you want to. Um, so another oops, where are we gone? Another obstacle. OK, um, and then that one has another obstacle coming off that yet another obstacle. Okay, so again, you can play, create these, you can move them around, you can do whatever you like with them. Um, now, the other development we can do, particularly good for this technique, the why and what's stopping us bit. Well, the what's stopping us, once you've identified a load of barriers, then you try and turn each obstacle, you try and turn each obstacle into a question that starts, how might we? So it's fair to think that people will probably say, well, we can't breathe new life into Zoom creative sessions because there's too much pressure in the day job. Okay, so you need to turn that into a question. And the question is, how might we get bosses to give us the time off? So how do we make a case for time off? And in order to do that, when you click on this box here, and again, you'll need to talk people through, you then click on, instead of clicking on the plus here, you click on the box beneath. And that allows you to drag down to here and then allows you to create a text box. So this is a new, um, a new how might we question. Um, too much pressure in the day job, so how might we, um, how might we make these sessions part of the day job? Okay, there's the question. So again, and then once you just click outside, and you can move those around to wherever you like. And it's obvious that they're related to the same obstacle. Um, so the mind map, I mean, mind maps are great for all sorts of things. And as I say, I think you can you can just use a mind map to come up with lots of different ideas. Um, but this is a way of using it for that one particular technique, the why and what's stopping us technique, which over and over again, I think, is one of the most useful techniques for getting clarity on what is it we're doing, What's the most important part of the of the challenge, and what can we what should we aim at first?